One of the things you're looking at in the this is a is you're really kind of focused on the door. And I know a bunch of you might let go, what do you mean? What's the deal with the door? Does any of you know what the deal with the door is? And we got a hole in the door. Anytime you cut in any louvers, you need two of them. And one needs to be a foot below the ceiling and the other one needs to be a foot above the floor. And these are all questions that show up on exams. I'm going to run this quick video. Ready? No sound, I don't think. No. You got a water heater. You're looking at a water heater in a room. Don't pay any attention to the vent pipe. That's a category one water heater. This is a mechanical room. There's a louver. You can see right through it. You're looking at it from inside the mechanical room. One's a foot above the floor. One's a foot below the ceiling. We're coming out into the other part. There's the other side of it, same thing, foot below the floor, foot above the floor, foot below the ceiling. And it's opened up into this ginormous space that was a half a basketball court for somebody who like maybe plays for that team over there, but on the floor. But there you have it. So that's kind of a hint because when you look at those openings, as you go, this is you, this is you someday. Or you're the inspector, you're looking at this and you're looking at those openings, you're recognizing again that that's category one. And it's like, wait a minute, are either one of those in a door? Nope. There's a door on the mechanical room. So the question becomes now, why would I cut them into a wall, especially a wall that's exposed to this like beautiful basketball court space? Why wouldn't I just do it in the door that faces like a hallway? Your openings are supposed to be permanent openings. Why is a door not considered a permanent opening? Josh DeMello. Because you can take off a door. Has hinges. It can easily be taken off and replaced. Not so easy with louvers. Your code book says that you will provide combustion, ventilation, and dilution air through two permanent openings. That's what it says. Shall provide air through two permanent openings. You're going to encounter jobs as a licensee, even as an apprentice, but where you're going to see louvered doors. You're going to have to replace gas equipment. There are going to be a lot of inspectors, especially those inspectors who came out of this class. And they're going to go, nope, you ain't doing it. So you better ask a question. You better pay attention. You better survey the project before you're going to do it. You should make the homeowner aware because it's supposed to be two permanent openings. That's what we're talking about. <laughs>